Hello everyone. Let's travel to Saskatoon City, Saskatchewan, Canada. 2024 population 347,000. Main religion Catholic. We're good, we never left the ground. But we never Official language English. The fight isn't over. Can you let me be be tonight? Join me in exploring alone. further the amazing city of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. We left in the dark sometimes. Cause when I'm with you, it's just like an airway. Better than a band This could be love. Not sure, but I'm probably right. When you're around, I can say what I want to say. Saskatoon is the largest city in the Canadian province of Saskatchewan. It is situated along the Trans-Canada Yellowhead Highway, struggling a bend the South Saskatchewan River. Here are some key points about Saskatoon. Cultural and Economic Hall Since its founding in 1882 as a temperance colony, Saskatoon has served as the cultural and economic hub of central Saskatchewan. As of the 2021 census, Saskatoon has a population of 266,141, making it the largest city in the province. The surrounding census, metropolitan area has a population of 317,480. Landmarks and institutions University of Saskatchewan Saskatoon is home to the University of Saskatchewan, Mimosin Valley Authority. This organization protects the South Saskatchewan River and maintains popular riverbank park spaces. One Queen Heritage Park, a National Historic Site of Canada and UNESCO World Heritage Supplicant representing 6,000 years of First Nations history. Saskatoon is often called the Paris of the Prairies due to its scenic beauty and vibrant culture. It is also known as the Bridge City because of its nine river crossings. Indigenous influence The city has a significant indigenous population and several urban reserves. So whether you're interested in history, nature, or vibrant city life, Saskatoon has something to offer. History of Saskatoon is fascinating. Let's dive in. Saskatoon's story began in 1883 when a group of Toronto Methodists sought to establish a dry community away from the liquor trade. Led by John Nelson Lake, they arrived in the area, which was part of the provisional district named Saskatchewan in the Northwest Territories. Although their temperance colony clan didn't fully materialize, John Lake is often considered the founder of Saskatoon. Before European settlement, the Saskatoon area was inhabited by nomadic indigenous people. The oldest traces of occupation date back around 6,000 years. Indigenous communities ceded the land to the crown by 36 in 1876. The Kupil, Long Lake, and Saskatchewan Railway with Saskatoon in 1890 leading to rapid development on the west side of the South Saskatchewan River. From the end of the Northwest Rebellion in 1895 to 1913, Saskatoon experienced exponential population growth, becoming a bustling boomtown. The establishment of the University of Saskatchewan in the city further contributed to its growth. Today, Saskatoon thrives as a vibrant cultural and economic hub in central Saskatchewan. Please stay tuned for more and please do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe.
In the early days of Saskatoon, settlers encountered several challenges. The prairie climate brought the extreme temperatures, including bitterly cold winters and hot summers. Surviving these conditions required resilience and resourcefulness. Saskatoon was relatively isolated, especially during its early years. Lack of efficient transportation made communication and access to supplies difficult. Building essential infrastructure such as roads, bridges, and utilities was a significant challenge. Settlers had to construct basic amenities from scratch. Clearing land for agriculture was labor-intensive. The dense prairie grasses and forests needed to be removed to make way for crops and settlements. Medical facilities were limited, and diseases like influenza, tuberculosis posed serious threats to the community. Despite these obstacles, the settlers persevered shaping Saskatoon into the vibrant city it is today. During the settlement period in Saskatoon, indigenous communities played crucial roles. Indigenous people shared their knowledge of the land, including navigation, natural resources, and survival techniques. They guided settlers through unfamiliar terrain. Trade and Cooperation Indigenous communities engaged in trade with settlers, exchanging goods and services. This interaction facilitated cultural exchange and cooperation. Cultural preservation. Despite the challenges of colonization, indigenous communities maintain their cultural practices, languages, and spiritual beliefs. Some aspects of indigenous culture continue to thrive today. Challenges and displacement. Unfortunately, Colonization disrupted indigenous ways of life. Many were displaced from their traditional territories due to the settler expansion. Resilience Despite adversity, indigenous communities demonstrated resilience and adaptability, contributing to the rich tapestry of Saskatoon's history. Acknowledging their contributions is essential as we reflect on the city's past. During the settlement period in Saskatoon, several indigenous leaders made significant contributions. Here are a couple of notable figures. John Tutusis, a respected Cree leader, John Tutusis played a pivotal role in advocating for indigenous rights and sovereignty. He was elected as the president of the Union of Saskatchewan Indians, which brought together provincial First Nation organizations.
That was loud. Did you hear it? <laughs> oh my goodness. Other notable figure, Delia Opikoke. Delia Opikoke, a trailblazer, became the first Aboriginal lawyer in both Saskatchewan and Ontario. She specialized in treaty rights and made significant strides in legal advocacy for Indigenous communities. These leaders work tirelessly to protect their communities' interests and promote cultural resilience. Right now we're roaming around the beautiful city of Saskatoon. Enjoy! Indigenous art and crafts during the settlement period in Saskatoon were rich and diverse. Here are some notable aspects. Tipis, the tipi, an iconic symbol of Plains indigenous people, serve as a comfortable and portable home year-round. It's part of the tipi symbolize moral principles such as respect, humility, faith, and sharing, essential for harmonious family and community life. Decorative art. Indigenous communities express their identity through designs and colors. They adorn clothing, tipis, containers, and utensils with unique patterns. These works of art reflected from individuality and community values. Moose hair embroidery and keelwork. The Micmac and Maliset of Nova Scotia and New Brunswick were known for their intricate moose hair embroidery and porcupine hill work on birch bark, basketry, and textiles. Inuit carbons, although not specific for Saskatoon, Inuit art is remarkable. The traditional carvings, such as those made from whalebone, ivory, and soapstone, often depicted animals, spirits, and daily life. Some carvings even serve as stumbling pieces. Remember, these artistic expressions were deeply connected to cultural identity and survival.
Sutler is in Saskatoon appreciate and learn from Dino's art in several ways. Cultural exchange As settlers interacted with indigenous communities, they exchange ideas, stories, and artistic techniques. This cultural exchange allowed settlers to appreciate the depth and significance of indigenous art. Observation and Adaptation Settlers observe indigenous art forms such as beadwork, killwork, and carvings. Some settlers even adapted similar techniques in their own crafts and designs. Market and Trade Indigenous art became part of the local economy. Settlers recognized the value of indigenous crafts and often traded for or purchased them. This economic exchange fostered mutual understanding. Artistic Influence Indigenous art influenced settlers' aesthetics, elements like geometric patterns, earthy colors, and natural materials found their way into settler art, architecture, and clothing. You are looking at the South Saskatchewan River. The South Saskatchewan River is a significant water course in the Canadian provinces of Alberta and Saskatchewan. The river begins at the confluence of the Bow and Oldman Rivers in southern Alberta. It flows for 1,392 kilometers or 865 miles through both provinces. The South Saskatchewan River meets the North Saskatchewan River at the Saskatchewan River Forks, marking the beginning of the Saskatchewan River. Historical Ice Formation In the past, the river would completely freeze over during winter, creating spectacular ice breaks and challenging conditions in places like Saskatoon and Medicine Hat. The construction of the Gardiner Dam in 1960s reduced the river's power by diverting a portion of its natural flow into the Quapil River. Watershed Its watershed covers 146,100 square kilometers or 56,400 square miles with contributions from Montana in the United States and Alberta and Saskatchewan and Canada. Miwasin Bali Authority Miwasin Bali Authority is a non-profit organization dedicated to conserving the cultural and natural resources of the South Saskatchewan River in Saskatoon and the surrounding area. 
Here are some key points about Miwasan. Miwasan strives to ensure a healthy and vibrant river valley, balancing human use with conservation for present and future generations. It recognizes that it is located on Treaty 6 territory and the homeland of the Midis, honoring the traditional caretakers of the land and the First Nations and Midis people. Miwasan manages the River Valley Corridor, collaborating with partners like the City of Saskatoon, the Province of Saskatchewan, and the University of Saskatchewan. The 60 km of Miwasan Trail winds through forests, along riverbanks, and offers a beautiful way to explore Saskatoon's natural surroundings. Enjoy the beautiful sceneries of the beautiful city of Saskatoon. Today is 21st of August. As of 2 p.m. local time today, the weather in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan is sunny with a temperature of 30 degrees centigrade. The high temperature for the day is expected for, to reach 30 degrees centigrade, while the low temperature will be around 12 degrees centigrade. The sun rose at 6.01 a.m. and will set at 8.16 p.m. Enjoy the pleasant weather! If you'd like more detailed forecasts for the upcoming days, here they are. Tomorrow, 22nd August, mostly sunny with a high of 25 degrees centigrade and a low of 12 degrees centigrade. The following days are also looking great. August 23rd, sunny, high of 29 degrees centigrade, low of 15 degrees centigrade. August 24, sunny high at 31 degrees centigrade, low at 12 degrees centigrade. And August 25, sunny, high of 27 degrees centigrade, low of 13 degrees centigrade. Feel free to enjoy the outdoors!
Hello everyone, once again to my subscribers and uh, my viewers, I want to take a moment to express my deepest gratitude. Thank you for being part of our YouTube community. Your support, engagement, and enthusiasm mean the world to me. Whether you've been here from the beginning or recently joined, your presence has made a significant impact. Your likes, comments, and shares inspire me to create better content every day. Remember that this channel wouldn't be the same without you. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for being awesome. Wishing you all the best and let's continue this incredible journey with sensor appreciation, Patrick at World Tourism. We're back at Saskatoon City! <laughs> Saskatoon, the largest city in the Canadian province of Saskatchewan, is situated in the rolling parklands on the banks of the northward flowing South Saskatchewan River. It straddles a bend the river, creating a picturesque setting in the central region of province. The name Saskatoon itself is derived from the Cree word Misasqua Tomine which refers to the local edible red berry. The city of Saskatoon lies approximately 352 kilometers northwest of Regina. Its location along the river provides scenic views and recreational opportunities. The city was founded in 1883 as the proposed capital of the Temperance Colony. Over time, it has grown into a vibrant regional center for the northern prairies and central and northern Saskatchewan. Don't give up, don't give up on The city of Saskatoon boasts vibrant parks, including the Miwasan Valley Trail along the riverbanks. Residents and visitors can explore these green spaces, participate in cultural events, and enjoy the city's rich heritage. The local economy is diverse with sectors such as agriculture, technology, education, and health contributing to its growth. Saskatoon is known for its friendly and welcoming community making it a great place to live, work, and explore. This is the Kiwanis Memorial Park. Kiwanis Memorial Park in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan is a beautiful urban park located downtown. The park spans 14 acres along the South Saskatchewan Riverbank, situated between the University Bridge and the Roadway Bridge. In addition to its natural beauty, Kiwanis Memorial Park hosts various memorials, monuments, and public art installations. Notably, it surrounds the historic Bisboro Hotel. The park was officially constructed in 1935 and serves as a tribute to local and national historical events. It was named after the Saskatoon Kiwanis Club, a community service organization. Notable monuments and features South African Boer War Commemoration Plaque 1899-1902 Vimy Memorial Bandstand honoring Canadian soldiers from the Battle of Vimy Ritz Memorial Fountain of Youth commemorating World War II Korean War Commemoration Plaque 1950-1953 
Thompson Belvedere Memorial, honoring RCAF veteran wing commander R.W. Thompson. Century 100 capsule celebrating Saskatoon's founding 1882. Spirit of Youth Sculpture commemorating the 1989 Jeux Canada Summer Games. Clock Tower a souvenir from the 1989 Jeux Canada Summer Games. Ramonjan Nadishin statue recognizing Confederation's 125th anniversary and Ukrainian settlement in Saskatchewan. The park hosts several festivals throughout the year, including Taste of Saskatchewan, Pets in the Park, and the Children's Festival. During winter, visitors can enjoy the Kamiko Miwasin skating rink adjacent to the Bisbro Hotel. Alright guys, please stay tuned for more and please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Thank you! Saskatoon, the largest city in the Canadian province of Saskatchewan, offers a mix of natural beauty, cultural events, and historical sites. Here's what you need to know more about the safety of the city. Overall risk The city of Saskatoon is generally peaceful, but some areas have higher crime rates. Avoid those areas, keep track of your belongings, and stay away from dangerous streets. Transport and taxis. Public transport is safe, but be cautious at final stop in disadvantaged areas. Use licensed taxis or app-based services. Pickpockets. While pickpockets are not common, be vigilant, especially late at night and in crowded public transport. Natural disasters. Saskatoon is prone to flooding. Check weather or check weather conditions before traveling. In winter, there's warmly due to low temperatures. Mugging. Armed robberies are rare but can happen. 
Secure your car and belongings and avoid risky areas. Terrorism. No terrorism cases reported in Saskatoon, but stay alert. Scums. Be aware of telephone, SMS, and internet fraud. Remember to stay informed and take necessary precautions. Safe travels! This is the beautiful city of Saskatoon. Enjoy! Winter in Saskatoon offers unlimited opportunities for fun and adventure, both indoors and out. When the prairies transform into a blanket of crisp white snow, our city's adventure spirit comes to life. Here are some delightful winter activities you can enjoy in Saskatoon. Outdoor adventures! Ice skating! Glide across frozen bands or visit outdoor rings for some classic ice skating. Snowshoeing! Explore scenic trails and snowshoes and immerse yourself in the winter wonderland. Cross country skiing! Hit the groom trails along the riverbanks for peaceful skiing experiences. Thick sledding! Try this traditional Scandinavian mode of transportation. It's like a scooter in snow. Tuboganing. Grab a sled and race down snowy hills with friends and family. Winter Option Festival. Shake off the winter chill at Saskatoon's favorite cold weather celebration. Experience performances by local and international musicians, film screenings, and interactive cultural events. Remember to bundle up, 
Sleep, have drinks, and embrace the crisp air. It's a better season in Saskatoon. This is the TLC Laser I sent us. Cold winters in Saskatoon, December time. Average high temperature around negative 9 degrees centigrade or 15.8 degrees Fahrenheit and low temperature around negative 18 degrees centigrade or 0 degree Fahrenheit. January time, similar to December with average highs around negative 9 degrees centigrade or 15.8 degrees Fahrenheit and lows around negative 18 degrees centigrade or 0 degree Fahrenheit. February, coldest month with average highs around minus 7 degrees centigrade or 90 degrees uh, 0.4 degrees Fahrenheit and lows around negative 70 degrees centigrade or 1.4 degree Fahrenheit. March, Gradual improvement with average highs around 0 degrees centigrade or 32 degrees Fahrenheit and lows around negative 11 degrees centigrade or 12.2 degrees Fahrenheit. On the coldest nights, temperatures can drop to around minus 12 degrees centigrade or 10.5 degrees Fahrenheit. So bundle up and enjoy the winter wonderland! Take this opportunity to thank the beautiful people of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. Thank you so much, guys.
Please stay tuned for more and please do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And please do not skip all the advertisements being shown by the YouTube on my channel. Thank you so much. Blinds wash away the worries like a winding tide. Yesterday left far behind. Your sweet scent fills my lungs so Once again, to all my subscribers and viewers, I want to take a moment to express my deepest gratitude. Thank you for being part of our YouTube community. Your support, engagement, and enthusiasm mean the world to me. Whether you've been here from the beginning or recently joined, your presence has made a significant impact. Your likes, comments, and shares inspire me to create better content every day. Remember that this channel wouldn't be the same without you, so, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for being awesome. Wishing you all the best, and let's continue this awesome journey together with sincere appreciation, Patrick at World Tourism. For you, for you, I, in the silent dawn, you stir from sleep. paints your face in a golden sheen The hush of dawn A peaceful sea mm, A love that grows like a tender rose In the soft light Troubles fade away One more could I ever do? 
Right, guys, let's wrap up some interesting aspects of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. First, cultural diversity. Saskatoon has a colorful blend of influences. It is a mix of trucks, guns, country music, and beer, but also home to Johnny Mitchell, trade union, progressivism, and Medicare. Hashtag wrap it up SK campaign. The Sexual Health Center Saskatoon runs the Hustler Grab It Up SK campaign promoting condom use and informed sexuality. Winter Adventures Embrace winter with ice skating, snowshoeing, and cross-country skiing. Saskatoon's adventurous spirit shines even in the cold months. Resource Industries Sask people care deeply about resource industries and sometimes feel misunderstood by Ontario and the federal government. Remember, Saskatoon is more than just flat farmland. It is a vibrant city with a rich history. Saskatoon's nightlife offers a mix of cozy pubs, lively bars, and entertainment venues. Here's what you can expect. Broadway Avenue, known for its vibrant atmosphere. Broadway Avenue hosts various pubs, restaurants, and live music venues. It is a great spot for a night out with friends. Downtown. Explore downtown Saskatoon for trendy bars, cocktail lounges, and clubs. You'll find everything from craft beer to dance floors. Live music. Check out local bands and artists performing at venues like Amigos Cantina, Capital Music Low, and the basement. Casinos! If you're feeling lucky, visit Dakota Dunes Casino or Living Skies Casino for some gaming excitement. Late night dining! After a night of fun, grab potent pizza or other late night snacks at various eateries. Remember to check even listings and explore different neighborhoods to find your favorite spots.
Quiere el reggaetón, pide de la mexa Quiere un gordito, un pochito que la meta Quiere el reggaetón, ay Quiere el reggaetón, oh Quiere el reggaetón, pide de la mexa Quiere un gordito, un pochito que la meta Pide reggaetón, ay Pide reggaetón, oh Tiene el vestido que me excita Con el culo afuera mi putita Le meto la brochita y se pone mojadita Me saca toda la tinta, se lo tiene en la carita Mami yo te cojo donde quiera Atrás de un carro si nos miran vale verga Se pone bellaca bien loca Con esa cinturita me provoca Pide reggaeton, ella pide un poco de reggae Mete mamacita y yo te doy lo que tú quieres Lo hacemos en la cama y pisamos en el piso Estoy en México practicando para el Quiere reggaeton, pide de la mexa Quiere un gordito, un pochito que la meta Quiere reggaeton, ay Quiere reggaeton, oh Alright guys, we're done Thank you so much for watching Again, thank you so much for watching I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.